hello everyone my name is Porsche and welcome back in another video on just a tech youtube channel so today apple roll out the new ios 14.3 for all the iphones and ipad that are supported ios 14 like iphone 6s and iphone ac first generation to the latest iphone 12 pro max we will talk about what's new in this update and should you go for this update or stay on the 14.2 we will also see the jailbreak compatibility for the 14.3 with the checkering jailbreak so we will talk about everything related to this new update so make sure you hit the like button and if you're new here subscribe to the channel so let's get started so as you can see on the screen i have received a new update for 14.3 on my iphone ac first generation and the size of the update is around 500 megabyte so size may varies according to your device model and on which ios version you are currently on and if you don't get this update just scroll it down and you will see automatic downloads make sure that it is turned off and then you can search it and you will get the latest update now let's talk about what is new in this update so they include the support of apple fitness plus and airpods max the release also added the ability to capture the photos in apple pro raw mode on iphone 12 pro introduce the privacy information on the app store and other bug fixes and in the safari browser they added the eco search engine option in the safari and also there are so many bugs fixes and issues that are having in the is 14.2 they all get fixes in this because there are some battery drain issues in the latest ios 12 series so you can update on the latest iphones also so you will get the better experience in ios 14.3 and along with this apple also released the tv os 14.3 and the watch os 7.2 and also big sur 11.1 and the ios 12.5 for all devices like iphone 5s ipad mini 2 ipad air first generation so all the old devices getting the latest ios 12.5 also so it's a good thing to see that apple is still take caring of the old devices and getting the new updates on that now let's talk about should you update to the latest 14.3 or stay on the 14.2 that is still signed. I can say yes, you can update to the 14.3 if you are on 14.2 and having some issues, they are fixed now. You can update to the 14.3 and now I will install this new update on my iPhone AC 4 generation and let's see that this iOS update is compatible with the checkering jailbreak or not. Now the update is completed. Now let's go to the settings and check the build number and the other things. Now you can see it's updated to 14.3 and the build number is 18C66. Now let's check about the jailbreak compatibility with the check crane. So I will go to my computer screen and show you the complete jailbreak process. Alright now first you have to check the description blog link and where you will get the latest checkrain ISO file that is customized by me. After that you have to just download the zip file and you have to first extract it and you will get the ISO file and the readme file. If you are a beginner and you are doing all this first time, go through this readme file it will surely help you. Now the next thing you have to make this ISO file bootable in the USB flash drive. So for that you have to need a Rufus tool. Just google it and you will get the Rufus official website. You can download it for free. After the download just simply open it. Now you need a USB flash drive. Just insert your USB flash drive on your system and select that ISO file you have just downloaded. So let me just go to the ISO file. Now select it. Now this ISO file is compatible with the Intel and AMD both processor 32-bit and 64-bit architecture so you can easily run it on any system so you have to just uh, simply select your partition scheme if you are an MBR select MBR if you have a GPT you can select that and both will work it will work on the latest UEFI mode and the old legacy BIOS also so just simply flash it and make the USB bootable Now the bootable process is done, you just need to restart your PC and go to your BIOS settings or a boot manager settings and boot your pendrive from it. The boot manager settings and BIOS key shortcut is different for all the computer models so you can google it according to your computer model and you will get the shortcut key for the boot manager. So in my case it's F9 shortcut key for the boot manager, it might be different in your case. 
So just go to your boot manager and you have to select your pen drive. Now just click on enter and you will get the check range 0.12.1. Now just wait for the 5 second, it will automatically load the check range. Now as you can see we have successfully run the check range 0.12.1. Now you need to just connect your device and the trust option will pop up. So just click on the trust. And you will see your device is compatible with the check rain but the iOS version is not compatible. So for that you have to just go to the options and select the first option that is allow untested iOS version for iPadOS and iPhones. And if you have a A11 devices like iPhone 8 and iPhone X, you can select the skip A11 BPR check option and after that click on start and you will get some warning. Just click on OK and click on next. And you will get your device into recovery mode directly and after that you need to just follow the instruction on the screen now i have to put my device into dfu mode so for my device it's home button and the power button so in your case it might be different for your model like if you have an iphone 7 you need to press the side backup button and the volume down button but in my case it's a power off button and the home button Now as you can see on the screen it's showing all done that means the jailbreak is done. You can click on the done by the help of the keyboard and now you are ready to use the Cydia and the check rain. So wait for the 5 to 10 second and turn on your Wi-Fi and you will see the check rain loader on your home screen. So just wait for that. Now as you can see the check rain loader is on my home screen. And if you don't see the check rain loader on your home screen and it's not operating on that, you can just simply go to your app library and you can search the check rain there and you will get the check rain because sometimes the check rain is not appeared on the home screen and it directly go to the app library. And you will see you can get the Cydia installed directly from here. So just simply install the Cydia. Now the CDI is installed properly and as you can see the CDI is on my home screen you can just simply open it and scroll it down and you will see I am on the latest iOS 14.3 on my iPhone AC first generation and it's perfectly working. Now just go to the changes and update all the packages. Now click on the restart springboard. Now it's done. Now you are ready to use the Cydia. Now if the Cydia is not appearing on home screen, you can just go to your app library and run the Cydia from there. And you can see the Cydia is working perfectly. Now you can install any tweak that are compatible with the iOS 14.3. And let me show you my iOS version from the settings also. Now you can see I'm running on the latest iOS 14.3. So this is how you can jailbreak with the check rain from the latest iOS 14.3 compatible device. So iPhone 6s to iPhone X is compatible. Now if you want to go back to your windows machine, it's very simple. Just quit the check rain app and you will see the terminal down and you have to type the reboot command and hit on enter and it will reboot your PC and just unplug your pen drive and your windows will load up directly. So that's all for this video. I hope you gain some knowledge with this video. So just hit the like button. So till then goodbye, take care and peace out.